This gentleman had surgery for what they call a festinated polyp uh, about a year ago. I don't know what the, what uh, the translation for that would be in. If that, I mean, that's that's what we say in French. I don't know what the what the English version would be. So I'm just kind of pulling back here endoscopically. You can see this, and he's got rectal bleeding now, and he's got this lesion right here. You can see on the right side, which looks sort of like a almost like a, I don't know, like an inflammatory lesion or just a very ulcerated sort of polyp there. So we're just gonna look at this now on the ultrasound. Okay, so just pulling back. So this is the lumen here, coming back. And we see this, this lesion. I'm just trying to figure out what's, this is all lesion here and this is fluid in the lumen. So there's this, all this thickening here, which is, I assume, the polyp. Okay. What I'm not understanding is why, why I'm like seeing this on the back wall here, it's just still lumen. Okay. And the problem is, is this, this angulation, it's hard to to stay in good position here, but this is all, all part of the lesion here, this sort of increased vascularization here, right there. So we're basically looking to see if this is, if there's anything going beyond the wall. So just focus on the muscularis here, this all looks good. Coming back, it still all looks intact. So I'm not seeing anything going through. Okay, so it all looks superficial. But it's very hard to demarcate where, where the lesion really is, but it's all this thickening here. Okay, and then I'm also looking for any nodes. There's something in the wall here. That's interesting but still not going through. It looks like there may be a small non-specific node right here. Okay. Coming back again. And then we're into the anal canal and it's, it's even going into the anal canal. See there's thickening thickening here all the way into the anal canal. This is a very unusual lesion. Right into the anal canal, wow. But it all looks benign here on the ultrasound, but it is quite an extensive lesion. The funny thing is endoscopically it doesn't, eh, it continues up here. It's quite, it is quite an extensive lesion endoscopically. See, and you see, even look at it, look endoscopically, his, you know, the wall looks sort of thickened uh, and sort of edematous. And if we go up to this region here, there's a lot of vessels kind of in the submucosa here. So there is some submucosal thickening. Then we come down, and then the lesion really starts to get more obvious. So it's all, it's all this polypoid stuff here. This is all water in the lumen sort of more normal wall, then the submucosa starts getting thickened. So this is at about uh, 10 centimeters, it starts becoming abnormal. Then it becomes really circumferential. Okay, really thickening of the submucosa with vessels and stuff in it. That's well, a very strange picture. And it goes all the way down to the anal canal. And even though you see some irregularity here and there, overall I think it's still staying inside the wall. The muscularis is a little inflammatory here, but I still think this is all inside. And that's it, all the way down. I'm just gonna take one more video of all this. Okay, so just pulling back again. Again, the, the normal at about 10, at least this part here. Okay, and then coming back. Very, very 
Very strange lesion. A lot of vessels and stuff in the submucosa coming back through the anus here. Okay, and that's it. So this is a very unusual lesion. I haven't seen this very often. Uh, and the question is, uh, if it's a, if it's a really uh, infiltrating the whole submucosal rectum, I don't think just doing a superficial polypectomy is going to take care of this.